Hey guys, what is going on? We got the EcoBoost back on the dyno again with the Comp Turbo 5858 drop in. And as you saw in the last video, we did 93. It's the next day. We're doing E85. So <laughs> we drained the gas tank, put some E85 in there, and we're gonna see what the heck it's gonna make. I don't really know, but we added a five bar map sensor so we can make all the boosts if we want to. So we're gonna see what it makes. And I don't know, we got a base map from Ryan. We're gonna go from there and revise and see how it goes. So that was the first run on the base file. I let out of it because it got a little bit lean, but obviously Ryan's gonna take care of that. We may need to do some adjusting with the fuel, but anyway, so the first base map file, it made 441, 481, and that's with me letting out. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what Ryan wants to do, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, we got the next revision. We're gonna get on to run two. We did a little bit of mixing with the fuels, but we are going to go ahead and send it Last pull it made 30 pounds. That's the most I've ever seen before because stock map sensor can't see that much. So we let it cool down a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and load up the next map and get it going. By the way, I don't know if I told you this at the beginning of the video, we got noticed that there was a spot open at FL2K for us um, from one of our awesome sponsors. Uh, and they are hooking us up and we are going to be running my car tomorrow, which is Friday, which you'll probably be seeing this on Friday because it's Thursday night, um, at FL2K. And we're gonna run it, see what it does in an index class. So we're trying to get it tuned and dialed in tonight. So that's why we're kind of rushing and trying to get it done so we can get it trailered up and to Bradenton Motorsports Park. So let's go ahead and hop in the car, do another pull. Hopefully it's not too loud. So we just did another run. It made, well, we did two runs actually. We did 438 uh, and 481 and then 423, 466. Um, we're making some adjustments with the fueling and everything. Um, so it's just gonna keep going up from here, hopefully. We just got another revision from Ryan. So we're gonna go ahead and load it up and keep doing the same thing. And hopefully we'll start going up in power in bigger increments here. Another pull and that revision did uh, do a little bit of something there. We're at 455, 491. It's making good torque. I don't know if I mentioned, but we added a five bar map sensor. I can't remember if I mentioned that, if I did, whatever, but we added a five bar. Just got it wired in like 20 minutes before the dyno session. And so we can make 30 plus. We've already seen 30. So, but yeah, we're at 455, 491. So still making good torque and we're just getting started. We got a, I think we got a lot of room to play with, hopefully if we don't run out of um, fueling because we're still on stock injectors. But once again, I'm gonna send the data log, get a revision and keep going. So Ryan 
Ryan sent us a revision. We just ran it, as you saw. And he actually told me before this run we're running out of injector, which is not good. I know I need injectors, um, but hopefully we can make some decent power without them. And we actually just went up. We're making 47503 now um, at like, I don't know, 27 pounds or something like that. Um, but yeah, so 470 and 503, that's the most power my car's ever made. Not bad, send them another revision, see if we can get, make any more. But like I said, we're basically out of injector. but another revision didn't really gain much uh, gained not even a horsepower and lost a couple foot pounds of torque um, he's just playing with it seeing what we do because we're kind of running out of injector here um, see if we can get a little bit more power out of it before tomorrow but it is what it is let's keep sending logs and see what he can do That run felt pretty good. We got a little bit more power here. We're up to 487.506. Ryan's doing his magic. We're gonna keep sending logs, but like we said, we're kind of at the limit of the injectors. If we had injectors, we'd probably be well past 500 by now, I imagine. Um, so let's keep working at it, see what we can do, and see if we can get 500 out of it by the end of the night. pretty freaking good and look at what we made we are so close to 500 492 484 the torque dropped off a little bit but 492 484 stock injectors i really want 500 but i i don't know if we'll be able to push it that far but obviously we're letting ryan work his magic but man are we close and the car feels pretty awesome it <laughs> it feels good i can't wait to get it out on the street Going behind it while he's doing the run is insane. Yeah. It, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, the car sounds pretty insane too, but I mean, I'm just excited to get out on the street and get it to the track tomorrow and see what it does. But we're gonna keep sending the revisions or the logs and keep seeing if we need more revisions. We might be tapped out, but like I said, let's just keep pushing and see what happens. All right, guys, so we just re-ran it, not on camera because it was actually a rerun of the previous run because I forgot to log the car for Ryan. So I came back out here, re-ran it, and <laughs> we made 502, 486. So we have officially made over 500 wheel horsepower on my car with the Comp 5858, with the Nostrum uh, high pressure fuel pump with stock injectors. I'm still running stock injectors. So I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna get the logs to Ryan. If he wants to do some more uh, runs, we'll do some more runs. But if we can get more power out of it, let's keep going. 500 last time, let's get another 500.
final run of the night. We re-ran it and we ended up backing up our last run of 502, 506, and then 503 torque. And I just spoke with Ryan and that's where we're gonna call it for this. So we've multiple consecutive runs over 500 horsepower on just an upgraded high pressure fuel pump with no injectors with the Nostrum um, 85 fuel pump and the Comp 5858 turbo. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. We really need to get injectors so that I can push it a little bit harder because right now we're tapped out for injector and that's really what's limiting us. But from there, we can push it even farther and see what the turbo is really capable of. But for now, guys, we got to get ready for FL2K because it's like 11 o'clock at night and we have to finish up prepping and get my car off the dyno and all that. So we will see you guys tomorrow if you're going to FL2K. If not, wish us luck. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I'll see you next time.